Hi everybody, Michelle from Michelle's Craft Corner here, and in today's video we're going to be making this fun snowflake themed card using Stampin' Up's Flurry of Wishes stamp set. Let's get started. So here's a close-up of that card we're making today. You can see it's just really beautiful. I love the pops of bling on here. So nice. And you'll see this is a really quick and easy Christmas card that you could make. Doesn't really take very much time at all. So for this card, we're going to be using the Flurry of Wishes photopolymer stamp set. Now this has got that wonderful sending you a flurry of warm Christmas wishes stamp set that we're going to be using. And then also the little dual snowflakes. In addition to that, we're going to be using the uh, snowflake punch that is meant to coordinate with those snowflakes. Now, as of this video, this is currently on the clearance rack, so you could get this punch really inexpensively. The fact that the punch is on the clearance rack means that this stamp set is probably not going to be sticking around for very long. So if this is a set that appeals to you, you do need to really pick that up sooner rather than later, as I cannot guarantee that that's going to make the next catalog. But it's a really, really nice Christmas set. So besides uh, the stamp set and the punch, we're also going to be using the new Everyday Labels Punch from the Holiday Catalog, which is a really good shape. You can fit a lot of sentiments in there. So we're going to be using that. For our little bit of ribbon bling, we're going to be using this silver metallic edge ribbon, and I absolutely love this. It's also available with a gold trim and a very vanilla uh, center, but this is more of a whisper white, and it's just, it's just so gorgeous. Nice, really silver pop. We're also going to be using a little bit of the silver glimmer paper just for that edge around our sentiment. And, of course, uh, some basic little jewels to kind of pop up our snowflakes as well. Our paper today for the background is from the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper. This is uh, 12 by 12 sheets, uh, six each, double-sided, so a lot of really good green, black, and white holiday themes. Let me spread this out here. So a lot of things you can do with this paper stack. There you go. Uh, flip it over you can see our snowflake pattern right there and these come in 12 by 12s but I just like to cut it down for the video so it's easier to see so a really awesome holiday paper stack with that nice olive old olive green on there for our ink color and paper color today we're gonna be using pool party now if you do not have pool party you can also oh no excuse me wrong color ha! we're gonna be using soft sky Ah, my bad. So uh, you're gonna be, we're going to be using Soft Sky. If you do not have Soft Sky, an alternative is Pool Party. It would just be a little darker. Of course, this card would look good in a variety of other Stampin' Up! colors as well. All right, and the last thing, we're going to be using a little bit of the uh, Whisper White cardstock to punch out our uh, sentiments as well. All right, you guys got all that? including my my little blunder <laughs> it's the holidays it's crazy all right so let's take that off to the side so we're going to start by stamping our pieces so we've got our nice snowflakes and our sentiment on blocks ready to go and you really don't need a big sheet of paper because these are two pretty small ones that we're going to be punching out so i've just got some scraps right here and actually, I'm going to do this one on that one. Okay. Open our soft sky. Now, I know I'm a little lacking on the post-it notes in this video. I do apologize. It's been one of those crazy days. Uh, but there are direct product links to everything in the video in the comments below. So just check out that. You can go straight to my Stampin' Up! store and get all these awesome items. So, here we go. Now, I stamped it a little crooked. Now, in other cards, you might worry about that, but because we're going to punch it out, we can even it out. So then we're going to go ahead and stamp our snowflakes. And just hit the corner. It's kind of a smaller scrap, but it should be okay. There we go. So now we've got our two pieces stamped. Let's put the pad up. All right, and so we're going to go ahead and punch out those words. Now remember I said I stamped it crooked, oh no, but because we're flipping, you can kind of line it up 
See like that? So it's nice and even. Nobody will ever know that you stamped it crooked unless you do a YouTube video and share it with the world. All right, here we go. We'll just give it a little press. It's our little sentiment. And then we'll do the same thing for our snowflakes. Flip that around. Now, another handy tip. So you can see how small this piece of paper is. If I slide it all the way in, I don't have anything to hold it. So another handy tip if you are trying to use scraps to kind of make your paper last and you're trying to punch something but it's too small is if you attach it to a post-it note, then you have like an extra handle. So check this out. So we're going to slide it in. So now I'm holding onto the post-it note to move it um, and I'm not losing that edge. So just like we would with our any other size paper, we're just going to line it up and punch it. Go. So now we have our two snowflakes. And of course you could do more snowflakes if you would like. Put that off to the side. All right, and we're also gonna punch out one uh, shape. <laughs> I guess I don't know what to call that shape uh, with our silver glimmer paper. And yet again, you don't need a lot for that one, but we just need one. that over and then we're going to take our paper snips now this is a fun trick now there's a lot of different ways to expand your punches and do different things to kind of give borders but for this one we're just going to cut it in half now it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up or even but we're just going to cut it in half and then we're going to take our liquid multi-purpose glue if you have a uh, fast fuse you could do that as well but I like the, the liquid glue because it gives you some wiggle time to line it up. So we're just going to give a little glue. We'll do one side at a time. Hopefully this is not too shiny for the video. All right. And we're going to take it and lay it on top just so we have that little bit of silver edge popping up. And we're going to line up the edges so it's nice and flush. And if you line up the edges then you won't see it, so it won't really matter if you cut it crooked. All right, so just like that. We're going to do the other side. Now it is still going to be wet for a second, so we're going to have to let it dry. So we're just going to slide it so it's about the same thickness on both sides there. Just like that. All right, so see the back got a little hole in there. See, it was a scrap. There's something else stamped on it. Okay, so we're going to set that off to the side. Oh, I, sh I moved it. It's still wet. There we go. So we'll set that off to the side. Give that a second to dry. Let's go ahead and move on to our next part of our card. So, of course, I have a piece of Whisper White for the inside, and this is cut at our favorite size, the 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. We also have that piece from the Merry Little Christmas. And this is also cut at five by three and three quarters and our piece of soft sky. So we'll go ahead and take that card base, fold it up, take that post-it note off. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab uh, just a segment of that beautiful ribbon. I mean, it's just, it's so pretty. And you want enough so you can tuck the ends underneath, so not a huge piece. So this is probably a little longer than I need, but it's about eight inches. All right. So a couple different ways you can attach ribbon. You can do some fast fuse down the center. You can attach it on the back, but I just like to cheat because it's faster and just add a little tape. So I'm just gonna tape the back little pieces. Just fold that over and tape it down. You're taping the second one you just want to make sure that it's a nice even line so you're not taping it crooked like that that would be weird all right fold it back over and if you do it flat then it won't be bowed you don't want it to kind of be too taut there there we go all right so let's go ahead and glue that down to our card So 
see just how fast this is coming together. So we want a little bit of that soft sky border all around the edge. There we go, just like that. We're also going to add our snowflakes. Now I like one above and one below the line, but I mean you can do it any way you like. You can also pop these up if you want, give it them a little extra dimension, but I'm just going to glue them flat. So just like that, here's another one. So really, really simple. And then of course I've got my wonderful bit of bling here, which this is actually the older rhinestone set, but they're pretty much the same. So we're just gonna peel off one and stick it straight in the center. Both of those. So you can see, very pretty already. Now we've got our little sentiment, which should be dry by now. We're gonna flip that over and we're gonna throw some dimensionals on that because it's gonna be on either side um, of that ribbon. So we kinda of wanna have dimensional on either side so it kinda of sits flat. So one above, one below. You can stick one on either end. We've got our little, little label piece. We just peel those backs off and we are almost done, guys. I mean, look how fast and easy this card is. There we go. So we're just gonna add that right there. And then of course, I did a little bit more bling on the words as well. So we're just gonna do just a couple quick little rhinestones here. I kind of liked it at the end of the, the loop for the Y. Uh, if you don't have uh, fingernails to do that, you can also do tweezers to get those off. And then we're just going to add our extra piece of Whisper White. Now you could also stamp some snowflakes on the inside, so let's do that real quick. I think it'll give it a nice little pop since I still have those sitting right here on the block. We're just going to stamp in the corners there. Oh yeah, I like that. There we go. That's pretty fun. And of course you can stamp them off the side so it looks like it's even more. So just like the edge of the snowflake. But you do want to have room to write. There we go. And we just add our center on the inside. So, so quick, so easy, really fun Christmas card using that Flurry of Wishes stamp set. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And for all of those links to make this awesome card, check out the comments in the description of the video. Thanks guys. See you next time.